7 email subject hacks increase your open rates. One of the most important ways of ensuring your emails get read is to be a likable and trustworthy person to your email subscribers. Once you have gained their trust and become their go-to person, you will not need to put as much energy and thought into your subject lines because they know your content is always valuable. However, until then, you need to be thoughtful when it comes to email subjects. That is why I put together a list of seven hacks that will help you increase your open rates and get your content and emails read. Number one, grab attention by using the from field. If you can scan emails in your inbox, which from field do you find standing out and why? Looking at my own inbox, Udemy with a four with parentheses around it is one that catches my eyes. What caught my eye is the four indicating that they have sent the email four times. Of course, this is not the best idea, but it caught my eye and I opened to see why the email was so important. You can duplicate this by inserting a number in your from field. That's one way you can capture your subscriber's attention, inserting a fake from field in the emails that you send. Another way to capture attention is to use an actual email address with an at sign in the middle of the name. People rarely use their email addresses in the from field anymore. Thus, by using it, you will stand out from the rest. However, there is a downside to this as you can look a bit amateurish. But if Amazon is doing it, why not you? Another way is adding a plus sign, for example. Academy plus outdoors, there is a symbol there. Done at Affiliate Tools Review, this is a good one because the person's name is included as well as their business and the at sign. Next, capture attention with your subject line. With this, I don't mean with actual words. I mean with capitalization, symbols, etc. If you have subscribed to a number of email lists, you will notice a few emails sent to you with an emoji or fancy symbols. These might be hearts, faces, snowflakes, check marks, etc. They're Unicode symbols. The best thing is that they are easy to install in your subject line. You can use the tutorial to learn how to do this at gen3media.com slash how dash to dash insert dash symbols dash into dash your dash subject dash line. However, you need to not overuse symbols. Generally, one per subject is enough, two is questionable, three or more, and you will look like spam. Also, you can use capitals to capture attention. You can use all caps in your subject lines, but use this tactic sparingly, as it is the equivalent to shouting. To play it safe, you can capitalize your keywords only. Next, be specific. The first thing to do is to know your goal. Are you giving helpful information? Are you promoting something? Are you sharing a story? Let your reader know what they are expecting to see once they open your email. Being upfront and honest will increase your open rates. An example of a specific subject line is Coupon Inside, a free report, or New Killer Traffic Source, Twitter Dark Secret, Get the Real Story Here. Next, make use of questions. Questions are a good way to spark curiosity and get your readers to mentally participate in answering your questions before they even open your email. For instance, if you're sending a Christmas email revolving around Santa Claus, you might ask, Andrew, have you been good enough? If you are promoting a book on finding inner motivation, you might ask, how much are you willing to push yourself? Next, personalize your subject lines whenever possible. With this, I don't mean only names. You can include other relatable information as well. For instance, shh, here's a special day offer for our Canada friends only. Or, John, here's how to get the most out of your new X1524 printer you purchased recently. Next, mail a series and include the day each series is to be sent. If your subscribers joined your list to get a series of guides on how to boost traffic to their site, you could title each email with Day 1, Day 2. This makes it easier for them as they can go back to see the emails that they might have missed. Lastly, optimize the preview text. Remember that your emails, once sent to your client, show the first line of text after the from field and subject line. The last thing you want the first line to read is to unsubscribe from getting this email. Instead, think about optimizing a first line and make it look like an extension of the subject line. Try to keep it interesting and highly relevant. One last thing, test everything. You hear this every time in email marketing. Test, test, test. If you are serious about improving your email open rates, testing is the way to go. Test with different subject lines, test with different fonts, test with different colors, emojis, and so on.